POTS, NMH, chronic fatigue, and fighting. I want to talk about what we can do to wage a war. It's about time that we waged a war against this disease. And we can do that. We can make ourselves better. And one of the things that I've been talking about is the changes that you can make to your diet that can really help. And I wanted to add a couple of things to that. Um, other things that lower your blood pressure that are just in your general diet that you don't even know about are things like parsley, watermelon, um, lettuce can definitely do it. If you're eating a lot of salad, it's going to get the water out of you. So that's going to lower your blood pressure even more. Um, there's like a lot of things that you can do in your diet that you can adjust to make yourself less lightheaded, have less of the NMH symptoms, the POTS symptoms. Um, I already mentioned the garlic. Garlic is like your biggest enemy. Nitrates are also your biggest enemy. I also want to talk about why this is happening, why so many people are suddenly coming down with this condition. And this has really been going on since the 80s. We've been seeing a lot of this that just really started to crop up about the 80s. And the reason that this has been happening is because in the early 80s was when they started to do a war on salt in your diet. And ever since they have decided with, you know, the American Medical Association and the food industry that salt is bad, you know, that's people like us who have a genetic predisposition to low blood pressure we cannot have low blood pressure we can't have a salt restricted diet i mean it's like equivalent to if they were like restricting sugar in everybody's diet who does not have a problem with diabetes and you know like a lot of us don't we just plain do not have diabetes we don't have a problem with sugar and if somebody's like gonna restrict that in your diet then you're gonna have low blood sugar problems so what we're seeing since the 80s is a deprivation in our diet of salt real salt that has all the minerals in it and what that has done over the years is it has created like a multitude of problems I mean we have seen an, a dramatic rise in thyroid problems all around the country all around the world and that's from the deprivation of the salt in the diet because a lot of people just cannot have low salt in their diet so along with the thyroid problems we're seeing the POTS and the NMH I actually started to have the POTS symptoms and the NMH symptoms when I was about 16 years old and what really happened was it did start after some type of I, people have always said viral but in that instance in the 80s I think that it was a toxic thing that got me sick but um, after I got sick in the 80s I started within a couple months of getting lightheaded weak dizzy I would stand up and almost pass out and I also almost passed out in the shower a couple of times back then and I was like 16 years old I didn't say anything to anybody about it I didn't tell anyone that I was like getting really like gonna black out because I just kept thinking you know maybe it'll just go away I didn't know what the hell it was at that point I, I didn't know and I was really getting scared from it but I had like a quasi remission when I was like about 17 18 it started to get better I'd say about 18 was when it really started to get better. So then like, I had a couple of years where it wasn't happening, or at least I don't remember it happening because I was able to work out then. And then after I got sick again in 91, that was like it. And then it really went bad. Um, but I had grown up in a household where my grandfather lived with us when I was younger and he had high blood pressure. And we were always told, don't put salt in your food, you can't have salt, it's bad. So, you know, like by the time that I was in my teens and a little later, I was getting thyroid pain, I was getting the lightheadedness. What I really think happens is a virus or a toxin damages something in your body with the vasopressin levels. They drop, and if you are having low salt diet, then you're just, you know, really killing yourself off and it's creating this whole thing. 
I think that it's part whatever made you sick and it's part a deficiency of salt in the diet. And what we've really been seeing is so many people now are coming down with POTS NMH. I mean, my neighbor just got diagnosed. Um, just like so many people, I have another person in my building who is also diagnosed with this and she faints all over the building. Um, it's just like epidemic. And the most important thing that you can do to fight this is to add the salt back into your diet. And the really scary thing is that there was an announcement in the news that they are going to lower the salt content of our foods by another 20% in the next couple of years. So what do you think that's going to do to you if you already have a low blood pressure condition? You are already suffering the effects of not enough salt in your diet. Somebody's going to lower that another 20% and you can barely stand up now. What do you think is going to happen to you? you're going to end up like bedridden or worse. So if you don't do something now to start fighting and fight back and put more salt into your diet, get the right salt that I had talked about, the Celtic gray salt or the evaporated seawater, start putting it in your food, make it a daily diet, you can fight back. You don't have to be as sick. You're, I mean, you're still going to have it. It's never going to go away. Whatever is causing those vasopressin levels to drop, until they figure out whether it is XMRV or something else, we are going to have this condition. But you can fight and you can make yourself better than you are. I'm not talking about curing it. You know, what I'm talking about is giving yourself more quality of life and more stamina to do some more things during the day. You can be better. You don't have to be like totally bedridden. You don't have to be so sick that you can't stand up. You can be better than you are if you make the right changes in your diet. That's like the most important thing. You know, when people always say change your diet, if you don't change it properly to fight this the right way, nothing's going to work. So all the things I mentioned, like the garlic, the nitrates, that must come out of your diet, stop doing all the things that are lowering blood pressure. Don't have tons of lettuce in your diet. Parsley will lower your blood pressure too. It gets the water out. Um, watermelon will make you deathly ill with this because watermelon is a diuretic. So it's like you have to look at your diet. What is in there that you're doing that is making this worse? Fight it. You can fight it. Take those things out of your diet. Up that salt content and do the things that you need to do to get that blood pressure up. You know, it's like, make the lifestyle changes, don't take hot showers and hot baths, make it colder. Because if you're going to lower that blood pressure from that water, you're going to be sick the whole day. And it's like, you can do these things, you can be better than you are, you don't have to suffer as much if you do these things. So it's like, these are like the most important things that I can really tell you, wage a war. You know, we have time on our hands with this. And it's about time that we started to fight back because no one is going to help us but us. You know, that's, we've all seen it. Doctors just don't care, basically. Or if they do kind of care, they don't know what they're doing. So, you know, so many times people with this would go to the ER and they don't even know why you're fainting, you know. And it's like such a simple thing. I mean, put that salt back in your diet. That's where you're fainting. It's like, like I said, you can change this, you can make it better. You do not have to be as disabled. You know, you will still have it, you're still going to have to watch it, you will still get attacks of it, but if you are careful and you really fight this on a daily basis and you really wage a war on this damn disease, you can make yourself a little better than you are now.